everyone. A very good morning to all of you. And in this video, I shall try to give you a little insight about a book. And the book title is Bholga to Ganga, from Bholga to Ganga. It was originally written in Hindi as Volga Se Ganga and later translated by Victor Kierman. Bholga Se Ganga or from Bolga to Ganga or A Journey from the Bolga to Gangas. It is a 1943 collection of 20 historical fiction short stories by scholar, come, traveler, writer, Rahul Sanskritayan. Rahul Sanskritayan was a true vagabond traveler and he had traveled uh, many countries and many parts of India as well during his lifetime. And he had traveled to uh, foreign countries land like Korea, Russia, Japan, China, and many more where he had mastered the languages of these lands and he was an authority on their cultural studies. So in a way, he was also a polyglot and polymath. This story or this book from Gangas to, uh, sorry, from Bhalka to Ganga, it is uh, a kind of book which has tried to depict the uh, migration of the Aryans from the steeps of the Eurasia to regions around the Volga River. Then their movements across the Hindu Kush and the Himalayas and the sub-Himalayan regions and they are spread to the Indo-Gangetic plains of the subcontinent of India. Actually, the book, it uh, began in uh, 6000 BC and it ended in 942. So it was be before the independence of India when the Quit India movement was going on in 942. The year when Mahatma Gandhi, the Indian nationalist leader, uh, called for a Quit India movement. Now let's try to know a little bit about the author. Rahul uh, Sangritayan, born as Kedarnath Pandey on 9 April, 1893 and died on 14 April 1963. He was an Indian independence activist, writer, and a polyglot who wrote in Hindi. And he played a pivotal role in giving travelogue a literary form. And he was one of the most widely or extensively traveled scholars of India, spending 45 year years of his life on travels away from his own native land or motherland or homeland. And Sanskrit Ayan, he is often called the father of Indian travelogue for his extensive works of travel writing. I have already told you that uh, from Volga to Ganga, it is about the history of Indo-European people who were later known as the Aryans. And the 20 stories that are included in this book all are woven, woven over a span of 8,000 years and a distance of about 10,000 kilometers. The first story of the book, titled as Nisa, it is about a caveman living, uh, sorry, caveman living in Caucasia, southern Russia, about 6,000 BC. And the society or its Precursors at the time was magical and so the story is named after the leader of the family called Nisa. Although all the 20 stories are independent, the sequence in which they are arranged nevertheless, it serves a very important pur purpose. And here one can find a gradual transformation from a matriarchal society, uh, the first two stories, to a patriarchal one, that is, and the rest. A gradual change from freedom to slavery, from acceptance of sla slavery to its loathing and the likes. Loathing means when you doesn't like some something, hate, hate, kind of hatred, repulse. And if one is to believe, the author Sanskritayan, then an apprehension for technological advancement is also, is also nothing new. People were wary of the newly better armament, which was fast replacing the older stone equipment. For, in a fourth story, it is depicted as Puruhot, Puruhot, Tajikistan, 2500 BC. And the same story, it also depicts how an arms race was uh, started during that period of how southerners amassed great wealth at the expense of the northerners. Then the uh, sixth six story called Angira, uh, Taxila, 1800 BC. It is about a man who wants to save the Aryan race from losing its identity to other races by teaching about their true culture, precursor to Vedic Christians. And the eighth story called Pravan, Pr Pravahan, 700 BC, also uh, Panjala, UP. It is about the upper class manipulating religion for their own vested interest and conspiring to keep people in dark for at least 2,000 years. Here one can see how easily and frequently the Indians, the Mid-Easterners and the Greeks mingle with each other in the times of Chanakya and Alexander by reading the 10th story, Nagat, who is about a philosopher classmate of Chanakya, or sorry, which is about a, a philosopher classmate of Chanakya who traveled to Paris and Greece and learned how Athens fell to Macedonia. The 11th story, it is called Prabha 1580, it was about the famous and also the first Indian dramatist, Aswagosa, Aswagosa, who adopted the Greek art of drama in the Indian culture in, in a very beautiful and authentic way and his inspiration. Then Baba Nurdin, 1300, the 15th story is about the rise of Sufism. The 17th story, Rekha Bhagat, 1800, is about the barbarous rule of the East India Company and the anarchy it brought to parts of India. And the last story, it is called Sama, as you maybe, 1942, it is about a man who goes on to fight the Japanese because he wants Soviet Russia to triumph uh, for this nation. According to him, he is the only hope left for the humanity. Okay, that's it. I have tried to give you a little, little insight. Thank you so much.